A disturbing thing is Mike Pompeo, private citizen, is now going back to Israel to meet with Mossad. The official reason is to celebrate the retirement of Yossi Cohen, the head of Mossad, uh, and he is going to be there at the exact same time as Antony Blinken, who is scheduled uh, to be there this week as well. And so this is disturbing to me because you have to remember the Republicans, I mean, I think they know that Joe Biden legitimately won this election, but they are behaving as if he has not. You know, that's key not only to their future goals of saying that the 2022 results must be rejected, the 2024 results must be rejected if a Democrat wins, but I think to an ongoing plan that they had for the Middle East. You know, the other thing Mike Pompeo desperately wanted, along with Kushner, Pence, and John Bolton, and so many others, was a war with Iran. And Netanyahu recently said that he's, again, interested in a war with Iran. So all of this is of grave concern to me. The Biden administration needs to take this very, very seriously and just look to who is suffering here. Look to the preservation of human life. Like if we have institutionalists and your goal is to protect the institution at all costs, but the institution has been corrupted deeply from within, corrupted to the point that it's shattered, you need to build a new structure of laws and norms, or at least you need to state what your intent is plainly. It cannot just be this kind of de facto embrace of an alleged ally when that ally has hurt us badly or hurt other people badly. And that goes for Saudi Arabia as well. You know, what Biden um, and the State Department did in regard to Khashoggi, like there needs to be a consistent set of values. You know, obviously diplomacy is fluid and it's, you know, never going to be perfect. But sometimes these situations, they're so cut and dry and they're so incredibly dangerous and they harm so many innocent people that you need a government that will stand up for the most vulnerable, that will be a real leader.